Um, so let me actually let me let's go to 2020. Um, 2020, I think, is going to be a fuck fest. To put it, it's already a fuck fest. <laughs> to, put it mild, to put it mildly, like to put it in scientific terms. Um, I I love the fact that there are a few things. I love the fact that the conversations that we're having have went way past what, you know, it's like we're talking about Medicare for all as being the major position, not necessarily, mm -hmm. you know, it's the other position that's trying to push back against it. Uh, we're talking about the expansion of social security, the what $15 minimum wage. These are just kind of at this point, mainstream ideas in regards to politics mm -hmm. and to, that, to Obama's, this was mind blowing that you're having these conversations. Hell, we're talking about reparations. Like even yeah. that conversation, like some of these conversations that we're having just over the course of the last few years have been amazing. And mm -hmm. so it's this thing where it feels like it's going to be a real race. You're going to have a guy who's a socialist on stage, a woman who's a complete anti-war candidate on stage, a woman who wants to essentially beat up any Wall Street banker she can get her hands on. Um, and you're going to have corporatists. Mm -hmm. so that's, you know, you, you make an argument that that's the election. Um, yeah. What do you think is going to happen with this? I mean, because Yang apparently is going to be on the debate stage. That shocked me, if I'm being honest. It How shocked me too. He has more votes than, than Tulsi? That's what really shocked because I would have assumed that she would have made that requirement uh, that before true. Yang. Um, That's what was bizarre to me, and I have to yeah. ask. She Yang said on Fox News that the Democratic Party like kind of leapt <laughs> to, to, mm -hmm. to congratulate him and bring him on a debate stage and everything else. And I thought to myself, is it possible that the reason why they're bringing him in um, is because they want somebody to essentially hit Sanders from the left, and that ultimately they can pull votes. In this kind of, um, it's like, yeah, we love Yang in the race because we don't think he's going to win, but we also know he's going to pull votes from Sanders. Mm -hmm. That's me being, you know, a conspiracy theorist. But no, no, no. I, and honestly, I'm really cynical, and I think we have a right to be cynical after 2016. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you know what I mean. I, I think that if you're trying to be charitable with that, and them trying to bend over backwards to accommodate, you know, Yang. It's maybe Tom Perez being overly paranoid because we're on his ass, <laughs> like flies on shit. Like, you know, um, every little thing that he's done has been scrutinized and he knows that Debbie Wasserman Schultz is still being scrutinized. So I think maybe it's just fear of not p pissing off progressives, knowing that we're not going to be, you know, just we're not going to take it lying down like Democrats do when Republicans shit on them. 